he, I started panicking and I told God, me, I can't. This one is busy. Why is it a And he doesn't even understand anything. He's just like, mm, mm. Hello, hello, hello. Best agent ever. Best agent ever. So, um, when I arrived, when I arrived in Qatar, when I arrived in Qatar, so I was taken to the agent, to the agency, now in Qatar. And from there, uh, actually they came for me at the airport. I waited for them for around from morning to... To, from morning to 11 so they came for me after coming for me I was taken to the office when I just entered the office actually the manager called me and told me look at me and I looked at him and I, he was like when we just look at somebody when you look somebody's eyes we know if you're good or bad I was like hey okay so from there I was told uh, yourself you are you are, you are yeah, Sophia said yes, and um, I was told, okay, go sit there, take your bag there. So I had, I had a very big bag because I had carried so much because I knew I was going for company work because that is what my broker in Kenya had told me that you're going for company <laughs> work. So from there, I. I waited for them because they had some people, some clients in the office uh, who were also waiting. So from I, they were being served. After finishing to serve them, the manager told me, uh, take some clothes with you uh, and close your bag, come with me. Hey, I was like, tena na pele kwa wapi? Wa. And as I was sitting there, I saw some ladies coming from upstairs. The office is big. The office is big and very nice. It doesn't even look... It's a very nice office. So coming from down, coming from upstairs, going down. So from there, uh, I took some of my clothes and I followed the manager <laughs> to the car. So from there, I was just... My heart... So, we went and here we are at his home and uh, it was an apartment. Hey, I saw the kids. I was so happy when I saw the kids coming towards to their father, now the manager. Ah, I saw, my heart now was at peace. I can relax. And because it was like it was my first time, so Lazima needs to So from there, um, I was told uh, I was the 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 they called the house manager, the house help, to come and show me around. And she told me you need to uh, before before while we were in the car actually he told me you you must be very tired i was like wow thank you you must be very tired and you need something to eat a manzi manzi nilikaribishwa 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 kama nyia mjakaribishwa nilikaribishwa so i was told to go for shower i went i freshen up after freshening up i found they had prepared for me a place to rest na food i thought like it was you would think it was a party manzeni liandaliwa hey i was like this is for you what this is for you eh mpaka nikasema siniishi tu hapa siniishi tu hapa ma ni huku mpaka nikasema you don't need an, you, you don't need somebody to help you or uh, no we already have someone so i ate and i found murenda mulukia they had prepared mulukia murenda yani and okra there was okra and everything and yani is the, a very warm welcome so from there, I was told sleep, uh, you need to rest, just rest. Then around, around uh, 
evening i wake you up we go back to the office so from there i went back to the after the rest and everything after resting and everything i woke up and i was taken back to the agency now the office the office are very well arranged office there's a director there's a secretaries and the assistant and the manager very well organized people and they care about people man say it's a very good agency i found in qatar and uh, god bless them actually where they are god really bless them because they treated us well so from there uh, nika nika nikambiwa nitulie but in the evening again i didn't spend the night there i had to spend the night because i was new so i went to spend the night yes at the managers and then in the morning again we came with him as i wait for my real sponsor now that had sponsored me to that country that had sponsored me nilikuwa nangojea ule awako nikujia the same day so nilikuwa nangojea wanikujie that is the the local family sasa when you alikuwa amenitoa from kenya yes so uh, they came after two days that is when they came for me so the first time i slept at the managers and the second day i slept at the director's house wow <laughs> so from there the office is good they they are so good now here is where ngoma inaanza now you need to go to your sponsor no the driver came for me hey hajui kizungu hajui chochote so nikambua you will go with him and be good we know you are good yani we we'll see you we know you you, are, you have, they told me actually unaka uko na roho safi you look like you have a good heart so i went with this guy hi nothing hello nothing he's not talking to me he just went like so in the car we are just staring yani he's driving i'm just there i'm just like telling god where am i being taken to this guy is not talking and actually my sponsor lived very far they were very far so wacha tukafika we arrived at the place as we arrived at the place i before even like we entered the estate now the houses he i started panicking and i told god me i can't this one is busy why sitaweza huge i was asking him is this where the ministers live or who lives here these are palaces the palaces and he doesn't even understand anything he's just like mm, mm, mm. no english no nothing and i don't know arabic so we went we arrived at the place now my sponsor arriving at the place uh, i was told to stand no even not to stand he just i arrived and he left he went to the main section because ladies and men no they say they, are, they stay separate this is now the local they are rich people not he the the compound before we reach the house manze hizi ni nyumba kwa katari wako na do kwa katari wako na do wakatari ni rich people they are very rich kuna nyumba katar unaingia unaenda hivi unashangaa so kafika kwa hao nobody is talking to me the house managers they are like 50 in that compound just one comp- one one house and there is another one and another one so it's a big family me i just said me i can't this i only see this in movies already ro yangu isha katana isha kufa so i asked him no i'm just standing there so i was waiting so he he went and then came now he took me now to the to my sponsor now now inside the house first floor second third yoga di hota nie di hota siwezi sinyalatae akanyalala sina sinyalatae moyo kufuie yani ndio yangu ilikufa tu mimi nikambia Mungu tu nitoe huko Mungu nitoe huko mimi sijui nitatokaje huko 
na hata sijaongeleshwa but nishaambia tu Mungu Mungu sitaweza nilianza tu kukumbuka home kukumbuka tu home ni, yani nikaanza tu kulia miaka hizo mbili tu years nikiwa nimefungiwa huko ndani ai nikasema mimi Mungu wake hapana sitaweza hiyo sasa ndio sasa mwenye amenileta hiyo inchi sasa so from there ndio nika tuko third floor ndio sasa nikaona mama amekaa huko nyumba ni kubwa ni kama unahudumiwa na mfalme mama amekaa huko anakuongelesha hai hajui kizungu aniambia tu hai hai you look nice <laughs> kasema okay ni sasa nikaambiwa you go down you wait for the boss to come sasa niende ningoje sasa hivi bwana atakuja cuz yeye ajui kizungu bwana ndiye anajua kizungu so si nikaenda nikarudishwa chini it only one person in the whole compound can speak english this one filipino lady and she approached me of all the ladies even the ethiopians the world, they didn't even say hi to me it's only this philippine lady that came and said hi where are you from she told me i'm from philippine and i'm from seventh day are you a christian i said yes i am she told me you need to pray here yeah, you need to pray and i was like okay thank you very much at least now i i got hope Uh, so you wait and she asked me who is your boss i said i don't even know i just went she told me tell me the house i'll tell you who the boss is <laughs> so i told her and she said mm -mm. okay okay so just wait so from there i was called in the evening nikaitwa jioni nikaitwa tena usiku ndio bwana kaniambia hi how are you i'm fine and uh, i'm like he's like here now you are we we were to be three in three ladies in one house just serving one one lady so i was the third one i was to be the third one who speaks english because the rest they don't know english and they had a new born so i was to teach the kids the english lakini nikasema mimi si mwalimu na sikukuja hapa kukuwa mwalimu